my just, one chance to be naked in life. <laughs> just run down the street. The beautiful woman she once was became a phantom wandering away in a snowstorm. The movie was great. I loved it. It was really just fantastically done. I left the theater and was still thinking about it for days afterwards. That's awesome. That's I, the way it's supposed to be. I yeah. couldn't wrap my mind around all the feelings I had. And I think the one thing that people are, have definitely been saying about it is that there is nudity, but it's so artfully and tastefully done. It's real, it's right? It's so real. And Shailene, for you, was it nerve wracking or are you like liberated and ready to bear it all for the screen, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as like the nudity thing goes, is it's, it's real. Like yeah. we all have bodies underneath these clothes. Um, and when I don't. I'm just a stick, yeah, I'm just yeah. a stick figure underneath. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a, a, a Ken doll. Yeah. <laughs> Ken and Barbies. Um, they have chests. They just don't have any reproductive <laughs> organs. Nothing worth seeing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it felt, you know, it didn't, it wasn't exploitative. It was real. It was natural. It was truthful. And also, it's something that every teenager thinks about, you know, Absolutely. whether they act upon it or not. And it's something that's there. And so I felt like it was an important part of this yeah. movie. I think after the initial shock, everyone's just going to be like, oh, it's just part of the film. And yeah, and also it's like you have a body. Say that he he tells this great story about when he was in France. Oh yeah, when oh, I was, it was like, you know, when we were at Sundance, people were like, I was so shocked. And I, mean, I never thought of this naked. film as shocking at all in terms, because I've made films before that have been more controversial, a little more button pushing, but this film to me has always been so classical and always very, as I said, very tasteful and very discreet. And um, you know, but Sundance people were like, oh my God, it's so scandalous. And, but when we were, I was just in France for the Deauville Film Festival and at the press conference, the, f the first question was, why is there no sex in this movie? You know, and to me, that's totally the difference between France and America. It's like primal. Oh God, that's so hot. Your role was like such a departure from the badass you normally play. Was that difficult to get into? Yeah, that's actually why I chose the role. I thought I could recognize something in the guy, and uh, but then I appreciated his uh, inability to fix things in his life. Which is very different from Elliot Stabler, who you yeah. played for just so long, and it was awesome. And if the two characters were to meet, like in real life, how do you think they would react to each other? <laughs> uh, I think Brock would just allow Elliot to, you know, just do control whatever. the situation. Yeah, exactly. yeah, just control the situation. <laughs> so you have like such a wide acting range as was shown in this movie, but you've also done a ton of comedic stuff. Mm -hmm. You're really funny in like Wet Hot American Summer and just so great. So do you prefer to do the more like serious dra drama kind of stuff or do you like to do like the lighthearted comedy you know I, I i like to do the stuff that i'm not in it's you know kind of the grass is always greener on the other side syndrome mm -hmm. so you know if you're all dramatic -y and then all of a sudden you see a comedy you go oh, I, oh that's him like, I'm, I, I'm feeling comedy i didn't realize that was you in as freak show and harold and kumar for so long name's randy but Everybody calls him Frank Show. And when I did, it just like rocked my world. It was so funny. And I was, then the minute it hits, you're like, well, of course it is. Of course it is. And of course it what is. What else would he be but doing? But the voice and the boils, oh my gosh, it was so funny. <laughs> I met Shailene before we started the film and she sort of became attached very early on. And then from there, we sort of cast around Shailene. Um, so for Shiloh, he just kind of came in and auditioned, like won the part, like old school style. Yeah. We had a, all these, um, actors come in with chemistry reads and, and Shiloh and Shailene just had s such amazing chemistry and he really to me kind of nailed that character. So Shailene for you, this you do a lot of the coming of age kind of work but this one is much more on the adult end of the spectrum. Of So how does it feel to be finally bridging the gap between young adult roles and like really adult roles? Adult roles, we're playing adult. a young person. That's what it is, it's like a young adult versus adult uh, playing a young person. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> like an actress He's not an actress, playing an actress. <laughs> I love that line. It's so meta. Um, we did this movie two years ago, so we did this movie before some of the other young adult films that I had done. And it was something that actually I was it was really kind of refreshing to be able to play my age. I think I just turned twenty one because I think uh -huh. I was like I can like that I could drink. You can drink on set, finally. <laughs> Legally. You can go home. Yeah, and I could get finally drunk. go to set. Okay. You came here to seduce me. I know. It worked. In this film, it was in the 80s and 90s, so mm -hmm. how did it feel being taken back, like a time warp? I really appreciated uh, the time at which it took place. Uh, you know, I, I felt as though it was a time when things were kind of breaking up, and it was a time when I was a kid kind right. of around there, so uh, things were breaking up then in my life, so uh, I kind of got it and I appreciated it. And I, th you know, I always think, and I also think it's a kind of interesting time, you know, I've, 
for me, I just feel 50s I've seen done, 60s I've seen done, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. I think we're just getting into it. Yeah. So yeah. Are, you, are you ready to do more roles where you're dressed like your parents and like... That's tough. <laughs> you look like I looked when I was you. What? I mean, you look like I looked when I was your age. The woman wants to vanish. Buddy, so you can. Are you saying there's nothing we can do? I loved your mustache. And I, I think it was such a great stash. Do you miss it? That stash? No, I don't miss it. No? Was it no. a real mustache? Yeah. What? Yeah. You had this whole growing power the whole time and you never... Thank you. Yes. Oh, amazing. I know. And people, they thought it was Tom Selleck, but I thought it was more Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. You know, maybe the color was a little more Ned, but it yeah. was it was the fullness of a Selleck. So Thank congratulations you. for Oakley that. Oakley Doakley. Oakley Doakley. Between Kat, Amy, Tris, and Hazel, who would you be best friends with? Probably Kat. To be honest, I feel like she's really rad. She's, yeah. she's like one of those girls I would want to be when I was in high school. Yeah, she's know? pretty badass. Yeah. I would be friends with her if I had enough courage to talk to her. <laughs> right. She might have scared me a bit in the hallways, yeah. but definitely a cool cool cat. So, yeah. oh. <laughs> cool cat. <laughs> cool cat. So for you, what is, what's the difference between acting for television versus film? Um, you know, TV is a little, little faster, mm -hmm. a little faster pace, and uh, a little more, I guess, se secure atmosphere only because there's usually uh, a company behind you. Mm -hmm. I think film is a uh, slower pace and maybe sometimes, especially if you're doing it independent, not as uh, stable. Right. So do you, do you prefer to have the roles where you can you have like 12 years to really get to, you know, growth as a character or just have a couple months in a role and just dabble in it and then leave it and then that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah. I just like, because I think you have to get to, and, and this is what is in short supply, something that is unique, uh, speaks something that speaks to you and that you feel is important or interesting. I'm, you know, it's just good material. And yeah. then wherever it winds up, I don't care if it's on the internet or if it's a, you know, a blockbuster movie or, I don't, you know, it's just, oh, it's just as an actor, you get to explore something and it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, uh, popular or mm -hmm. famous or not. It's just great to do. You need to let some of your anger out. You're gonna crack. Why are you doing this? Are you insane? Harder.